Hello, hello everyone, my name is Strifium and welcome back to another Misfits Racing League Circuit Guide. We are here once again with Mikau, he's going to take us for an in-depth look around none other than the Sochi Autodrome. We're here for the Russian Grand Prix. Hello everyone and welcome back to another edition of the Misfits Racing League Circuit Guide series. I'm your host Mikau and today we're going to be taking you around a lap of the Sochi Autodrome here in Russia ahead of round 17 of the Misfits Racing League Season 3 Championship. So turn one, completely flat out, DRS wide open through this main straight, this long, long straight. So important to be at a very good start off the line. Lots of positions can be made or lost here heading into this first braking zone, which is turn two. So for turn two, you want to really be looking for this black box just before the 100 meter board. That is your braking point for here. If you break at the 100, you run the risk of going deep, locking up, and uh, on the, in the race at least... Uh, running into the back of someone and losing your front wing. So look for this black box. That is probably the absolute latest that you can break for this corner. You can use also use the 100 meter board, but just uh, you do that at your own risk. That few extra meters can be the difference between a completely intact wing and completely ruining your race. As for the turn itself, turn two, you just want to really attack the curbs as much as you can and then straighten up the car and aim for this green bit of astro turf here on the left hand side. Just to really uh, get as much power down as you can and really, uh, yeah, just get a, a really good exit because turn three, probably the most iconic corner on the whole track, is uh, completely uh, flat out. So turn three, you want to really just hug this inside, aim to have your left side tires on this concrete. It can be a bit harder to control, especially if you are on a controller. But uh, that is definitely the shortest way around and the fastest way around at that. Uh, you don't really uh, scrub off a whole lot of speed uh, compared to the in-game dynamic racing line. Uh, but that is the faster line around that corner. Just be careful on the tyres, they can get a little bit hot. Now, for turn number four, you're going to be breaking just over this, well, just under, I should say, this Rolex bridge. So about where we are now is going to be where you're going to be slamming on the brakes for this very high-speed right-hander. Just about 90 degrees. You, using all the track that you can, really aiming for this concrete on the left hand side just to really open up the corner as much as you can. The more you open up the corner, the more speed you're able to carry and obviously the more speed you're able to carry, the faster you'll be. So, again, really attacking this uh, apex curb. It's going to be a running theme here and then using the green astroturf on the exit. Careful not to run into the wall on the left hand side as the uh, astroturf ends, but if you are... Uh, take the corner properly then you should be fine. Now heading to sector 2, turn 5, uh, one of the uh, personally uh, more challenging of the corners on the on uh, the track. Braking uh, just after that black box similar to uh, turn 2 and then again you want to really attack this uh, apex. Careful running over the uh, orange sausage curb that can really unsettle the car and then on the exit which comes up really really quickly Again, aiming for that green AstroTurf, but don't run too far wide. If those right side tires cross the white line, you will uh, get that lap time deleted. Which we've seen a lot of uh, this season in the real Formula 1. Turn 6, now this little kink, uh, completely flat out, but it's all about uh, opening up the entry for turn seven, which is another one of those high speed, uh, just uh, more than 90, 90 degree uh, right handers. So again, similar to the turns before, you want to be having your left side tires on this concrete. And then this apex you really can attack, just use all of the curb, aim for this sausage curb, right over that, and then just catch the car on the exit, aiming for that green astroturf just opening up the track as much as you can. Turn 8 now. The first of a double left-hander. Breaking around the black uh, virtual flag once again. And again, really attacking the apex curb similar to the turn prior. Uh, then through turn 9, basically flat out just keeping the stick car nice and smooth. And then for turn number 10. Turn 10, a very, very important turn as it leads on to the back straight and the second 
of the two DRS zones here at Sochi. Uh, braking for this one is just at the uh, DRS detection point line, which uh, can be a bit hard to see. So if you just think about, it's a split second after the 100 meter board. Uh, there isn't really any uh, other references you can use here. Uh, so if you can spot the line, fantastic. If not, just sort of memorize and guess where that line is. But you want to be braking uh, relatively later, since you are coming in at a, a slightly slower speed. Uh, this corner, fourth gear, short shifting up to fifth at the apex to really minimize the wheel spin. And this corner, all about the exit. So you can use the AstroTurf, there's a fair bit of grip out here, and it allows you to get the car straighter, uh, which uh, allows you to put on the power earlier. So we come through turn 10 now, keeping this car nice and smooth. Turn 11 is this little right-hand kink as we open the DRS. You want to keep things nice and tight to the right-hand side for the shortest run. So through turn 11, and then heading into turn 12, bring the car back over to the left, for this left hand kink and then braking for turn 13 can be a very very challenging because you're still turning through turn 12 and the braking point for turn 13 is this emirates sign that you can see on the right hand side so that is just before the 100 meter board so about here is where you want to be slamming on the brakes and you'll be wanting to brake even earlier during the race when you have heavy fuel or you are behind another car in their drs or slipstream and alike. So we have seen uh, quite a few incidents here uh, over the years and uh, personally I've been involved in a, in a couple of those but that's okay. So turn 13 probably the uh, second most common uh, overtaking spot can be uh, well you can overtake into this corner just sending one down the inside but just be careful on the braking because you will have to be turning the car even more and then you risk locking that front left as you turn and then the front right as well as you try and make the corner uh, for turn 13. So turn 13, I'll quit uh, yakking, it's third gear really attacking the uh, apex curve as much as you can and then once you make it through there you want to quickly bring the car over to the right hand side for turn number 14 again uh, hitting the curb I sort of missed the curb there but you really want to uh, attack the apex don't attack it too much like uh, hitting the sausage curb because that will definitely unsettle the car and the car can become uh, very unstable in this technical final sector of the lap. So on the exit of turn 14 again aiming for this green astro turf over the curbing to really open up the corner as much as you can and now the braking for turn 15 can be a quite ambiguous uh, in time trial you do have this very nice shadow on the right hand side to use as your braking marker but unfortunately using shadows can be very inconsistent because of course the time of day changes throughout the race and qualifying etc and it also could be overcast so everything has a shadow um so braking for here can be quite tricky but trust try to memorize it it's around halfway through the screen astroturf uh i don't really have many other tips for you on that other than just practicing this uh very tricky braking zone and then we head up the hill so there's a blind apex uh left hander which is turn 15. You want to really uh, attack this curb and then have a little bit of a squat on the throttle and bring the car as far to the left hand side as you can uh, realistically while keeping this speed up trying not to spin out because the car is very unstable here and then use all of the curb over this corner here turn 16 and then again using the green astro surf on the exit careful not to run into the wall it can be uh, very very close as you hear the nice 3d uh, sound engine, which is uh, one of the notable features in F1 2020. Heading into the final two corners now, right at the black box. Again, you can see how my car is bumping over the curbs, so you want to be able to open up the corner as much as you can, but just careful braking on these curbs, as they can be uh, very, very bumpy. Uh, you can use just the tarmac, but of course that means you will have to brake a little bit earlier and a little bit longer as well, just to bring the uh, car speed down enough so that you make the corner but it's a relatively mid-speed right-hander 90 degrees aiming for that green astroturf and then the final corner of the lap you want to really attack as much as you can braking for this one can be a little bit uh, tricky as well braking for this one is just before this uh, little bridge overpass whatever you want to call it so about where we are now 
uh, is where you want to be breaking for that. And then third gear, really use all of the apex curbing. And then short shift to fourth to get the best possible exit using a bit of the AstroTurf on the left hand side. And that completes a lap, the timing line very, very close to the exit of that last corner. So that has been my uh, track guide around Sochi, the Sochi Autodrome for round 17. I'll now show you a hot lap at full speed. It's a pretty clean lap, but of course there's a little bit of time on the table. Uh, if you feel like you can beat it, post your times in the description below. I am very, very keen to see how you guys compare to our drivers, and yeah, I hope you enjoy the lap, guys. And as always, the setup will be after the hot lap, and I'll see you guys next week for round 18 at Suzuka. Until next time, uh, this has been Mikhail, and enjoy the lap. Well, that wraps up this circuit guide here around, of course, Russia. We hope you enjoyed it. We hope you found it helpful. Here is the setup that was used in the hot lap. This is a time trial setup. You will need to adjust it if you're using it for a race setting. But of course, we will see you next week. We are taking a look at, of course, the iconic Suzuka. Thanks for watching, guys.